Hey guys, how's it going? Kentucky Air Bros. Jack here, and today I'm bringing you a very special review of the WeTech DM 3.8 Compact Airsoft Gas Blowback Pistol. It's a mouthful, I know, but this today we're going to be taking a look at a very nice gas blowback pistol by WeTech, which makes some of the best gas blowback pistols on the market. So when you receive this pistol, it'll come in a box like this, or at least mine did, because I bought mine in a two magazine package. Um, but basically, the box is nice. I mean, the whole cardboard that it comes in, I'd actually suggest keeping this, and then the rest of the box, just throw that away. You don't need that. This, though, is very nice for housing your gun when in transport. This thing, it stays in there nice and snug, and then you can pull it out, good to go. It also has slots for the extra magazines that come with it. But right out of the box, this gun shoots between 270 and 300 FPS, measured with 0.2 gram BBs. I use 0.25 uh, uh, Elite Force gram BBs with this gun, and it works perfectly um, just for me. That's just the way I like it. And right out of the box, you can notice that this gun has a very nice hop-up system, just as WeTech is usually known for. Um, with 0.2 gram BBs, I measured that the BBs actually travel very flat, and then towards the end, they start to curve up, which gives them a lot more trajectory. But with 0.25 gram BBs by Elite Force, what I use, like I said, um, this uh, the BBs travel perfectly straight and then start to die down. It is absolutely perfect. If you were to use 0.28 gram BBs or 0.30s, the BB would be absolutely amazing. But I do not have 0.28 or 3nos. I just use uh, 0.2s and 0.25s. But in this package with the WeTech uh, 3.8, you're getting two magazines. Yes, two. You're getting one magazine that is the standard 16 round magazine for the DM 3.8 compact. Then you're getting a second extended magazine, which is actually standard for the DM 40, which is another WeTech pistol, which is basically the full size version of this pistol. The thing with the 16 round standard magazine for the DM uh, 3.8 compact is that you can see that it flows perfectly with here and fits perfectly with backs of your hands. I have fairly small hands, but they're very wide, so it works perfectly for me. It's got a very nice wide grip on here that you can see it works perfectly with my hands. Then with the extended magazine, you're probably wondering, well it just sticks out a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The thing is with this, is that it comes with these little extenders, like this. It comes with three of these, and then it comes with two extra grips for the back of the gun and obviously of course you have your grip that's already on there but this is for you to customize the gun to your standards I have put a different one on here that comes with the package and then they will align up with the different types of clips that are on the extenders that are on here you can see this one doesn't line up with the grip that I use Neither does this one. But this one, ding, 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 it's a perfect fit, as you can see. Uh, the way these extenders work is actually really cool. It slides on the very bottom of the DM40 magazines, which is the 25 round mags, like I said. And then it just slides into the gun, just as normal, and then it stays right there. And it, it acts as the fully extended grip as the DM40 pistol. So, spec-wise with this gun, it comes stock with a full metal upper slide, full blowback, and it has three functioning safeties. First safety that I noticed, uh, which I didn't think was a safety at first until I actually fiddled with it a little bit, uh, is on the bottom of the rail here. I can imagine this safety would only be used for transportation in case uh, maybe an accidental discharge or something like that, but it's a safety on the bottom right here, and you probably can't see it very well, but if you flick it down, the trigger cannot be pulled whatsoever. If you flip it up, the trigger can be pulled. But if you're just pulling the trigger and not holding this back safety, then the firing pin is not going to go off. And if you're just pulling half of the trigger, the trigger's not going to pull because it's got a trigger safety. This gun has three points of safety, like I said. So you can see here, as I pull it back, there's a firing pin indicator on the back. When I hold down this grip and pull the trigger, the firing pin goes away and you can hear the click. If I reach it again and just try to pull the trigger, Nothing happens. Hold the hold the back safety. Clicks. It's a perfect, perfect safety design. Allows you to be versatile and very mobile with your gun, 
even though it's a very compact pistol, it does pack a very big punch. The blowback of this pistol is amazing. I'll pop up some little clips here and there uh, throughout the video just so um, you can see how much the blowback is on this pistol, just as WeTech is normally known for. I have the WeTech um, Scar Gas Blowback Open Bolt, which the blowback on this thing is incredible. I have no internal upgrades when it comes to the recoil of the spring, but I do have other internal upgrades that I'm not going to talk about, obviously. Um, but the recoil on this thing, on my Scar, is amazing. And then when it came to this pistol, I was shocked at how much recoil this thing actually has. The slide comes back all the way. When you hold this pistol, it feels a lot like a Glock. I'm going to be honest here. The grip feels a lot like a Glock. It's very slim, it's very compact, and it's perfect for your hand, just as a Glock's grip is. And right here, there's little divots for your thumbs on both sides, just like a Glock. The only thing different about this is the slide. The slide is a very, very odd shape. Um, but the way you disassemble this gun is actually very similar to a Glock as well. You breach the slide, lock it back. There's a little knob here you're gonna flip up. You hear a little click, and then you release it and pull your slide off. And when you put it back on, you just put the slide back on, lock the slide in place, tilt the gun up just a tad, flip the knob down, you're good to go. So this gun, as most gas blowback pistols, is powered by green gas. There are no CO2 magazines available. Uh, this gun is Tokyo Marui compatible, which means that Tokyo Marui DM40 and uh, other pistols like that, are, their magazines are compatible with this pistol. No, this magazine is not a Tokyo Marui magazine. This is the WeTech magazine that came with this pistol. Simple as that. But this gun is Marui compatible for those of you wondering. The lower part of the gun, or the lower receivers, some would say, of this pistol is full, high quality polymer. It is plastic. It's not ABS plastic. So they would not put ABS plastic on a gas blowback pistol. Just the stress would not be able to withstand the gun. Um, but it's a very high quality polymer. You can feel just ha like how sturdy that this pistol really is. There's no wobble, no nothing in this pistol. It's a very, very nice, durable pistol. I highly recommend this pistol for those of you who are wanting a very nice compact CQB weapon or just a nice little backup pistol. I do know that WeTech does make uh, some uh, fully automatic pistols. This gun is only semi-automatic for those wondering. Most pistols are, it's just WeTech makes a lot of fully automatic pistols which is it's really cool to have a fully automatic pistol but when you have one that's fully automatic you got to be careful because it puts a lot of stress on the slide and a lot of stress on the nozzle and most of them end up breaking very shortly after you get them one problem i did have with this gun is in the extended magazine that came with this uh, that is stock with the dm40 but not with the uh, the dm 3.8 compact is that it had a leaky intake valve and so I took the ba base plate off of this pistol, which is sometimes difficult to do with these WeTech pistols. But you slide, I slid it off, and I realized it was, just the, it was not the O-ring, it was the intake valve itself. I had a spare one sitting around from an old uh, WeTech Scar magazine. The intake valves are the same. So I grabbed the spare one, popped it on here, it works like a charm. So I suggest if you're going to buy this pistol, maybe just pick up one or two extra intake valves. They're not that expensive. They're just a few bucks. Um, you can find them on most websites. I find mine on e -Bikes, so you probably find them there. But one other little issue that I did have was with the stock magazine, the 16-round mag for this pistol, um, is that it was hard to fill the pi the that it was hard to fill the magazine with gas. Normal bottle green gas has a normal tip and the intake valve is weighed down in there. This does not reach in there. So every time I have to load this magazine with gas, I have to reach my finger down in there and slide the base plate off, then fill it. It's pretty simple to do. It just gets to be a hassle if you're really trying to load your mags quickly. Maybe you're a little bit behind at an event and um, you gotta reload real quickly. It's just kind of a little bit of a hassle to do. Um, so just to slide this off, but you, you get used to it. Take your pointer finger, slide it in the back, push the spring down, take it out, you're good to go. I mean, this this stay, stays locked in. It's not going anywhere, so I don't feel like you're going to lose it. All right, guys, so I'm going to thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you drop a like for this video and a like for the WeTech DM 3.8 compact pistol. Um, if you notice on the side of this pistol, one thing I noticed, it says 45 ACP, and it's got a negative sign. 
in front of the 45. You see it says 3.8 right there. It says compact. And it says 45 ACP. It's got a negative sign in front of it. I didn't quite know what that meant. I know that this gun, the, its real steel counterpart, is a 45 ACP or 9mm um, gun. I do think, I'm positive they make uh, two different versions of it. But um, it's just interesting to me that it had engraved uh, a minus 45 ACP. But other than that, this gun gets a 5 stars out of 5 stars for me. It's a great pistol, very compact, very lightweight, but very sturdy build. Uh, like I said, the blowback on this thing is amazing. Uh, for just a small little pistol, just as WeTech is known for their incredible recoil systems. So guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. This is Kentucky Bro Jack here. Make sure you hit that subscribe, that like button, and the favor button. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>